Hey, what's going on YouTube? 7up Stang here. We got the Mustang here right in front of us. And we got our transmission. See here we got that transmission that's been bugging us. The old piece of junk that's no good. Alright, I got underneath the car to show you all transmission tunnel. <laughs> My torque converter and rear diff. None of this stuff really even matters. But yep. Got the transmission out. Now I gotta count my freaking tooth plate. See if it's the right one. Because if not, I have to order it. But today's video is not going to be on the Mustang. So we got a different car today that we're going to be doing a little bit of work on. That I think is about equally entertaining. You know, I only have a Fox body on this thing in stock. It's slow. You know what I mean? What, what else do I got? I got Batman and Robin back there chilling in the Fox body though. They're pretty cool. You know, you got Batman, Robin... They, they just come and go as they please. Alright, so this is my 2018 Focus ST. I need to bath it. That's what I'm doing like right now. Gave it a little rinse off before I took it all on a walk around. But it looks pretty good. My fucking power washer doing whatever it's doing. Alright guys, starting to get the focus cleaned up, got the paint all sparkly, all nice and reflective, still gotta do the rest of the way down the doors, but it's a new car, nice paint. You can kind of see, it's kind of like a, a flake, almost. There I am. Alright YouTube. The focus is all cleaned up. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. Here's the interior. I put seat covers in the car. Yeah, it's been about 800 and like 20 some miles since I've washed the car, so it was a little dirty. But, other than that... And I would show you the hatch, but well... I'll just show you the hatch anyway, it doesn't matter that it's got my stuff in it. And then I got my work stuff in there. 
and of course some basic car care stuff but you know you can't beat it since i have this little deck lid i just leave that stuff now today we have a little bit of a a mod for the focus brand new car getting its first modification it could be a turbo and cool okay it's probably none of that stuff because it is a new car but I will show you all right there's the box let's see what's in it all right now the first thing we're gonna do is take these bolts off there should be five that hold on your intake lid down there my bad four you have four bolts to hold down your intake lid Then that just pops right off. Then you take this and you just pull that up and out the way. And then, really, all you got to do to get this off is I think you got to get this out. So, right here, you got to pull this off and then undo that band clamp right down there see right there you got your intake tube you gotta go right there huh I can't get it from that angle so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to wrench it Well, I lost that. And then I'm gonna have to get this intake tube off somehow. But I lost my 516s, so we're going to try it with the 38s 516s. Let's see if we can get anywhere, which we can. Not a big deal at all. All right, and that should just come loose. Now that that's loose, it should slide right on and out. And then all you should have to do is pull up on the intake a little bit, and then that should come free. And then right back here, there's also another little, little prong you gotta get out. And you gotta bend that tube up. Brand new car, you can't keep your head out of that beginning. <laughs> no. Yeah, already putting an intake on it. You bought this one, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, I financed it all by myself. Kind of boost it all, all that you can. Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, I, I'm getting the the other models air intake. Okay. This is the one with the more, a little bit more horsepower. See, my lid doesn't have an opening in it. Probably the only thing that's really different is the lid. I just got the whole thing. So you're getting all the add-ons at half the price. Yeah. That's smart. <laughs> You like it? Oh, I like it a lot. It's different having a new car, isn't it? Uh huh. It's definitely nice. It's cool. The sporty little cars. All right, guys, the new RS airbox is in. Uh, it's. I noticed that the actually the lids a tiny bit taller on these. I'm pretty sure that's probably to, you know, help with the ceiling on the hood. You can see here. It's just seals right there. But other than other than that, I mean, it's a pretty good mod. I mean, it's cheap. I only spent $70 on it. And I came with the entire air box and a new filter. Uh, it really doesn't do much for performance. If you more want, like, your low... A little bit more low-end torque, I would say you probably get... Now, other than that, no real horsepower gains are going to get by this. But now, fuel economy, I see a good bit on uh, fuel economy gains. And uh, also, you get a little bit of like air intake noise. It makes the turbo sound a little bit better. Here, I'll set you guys on the hood so you can hear that. Well, I can't show you all now because I didn't put enough miles on it. Probably after I put more miles on it with the new air intake, I'll show you guys the, the difference. But I, I'm telling you guys, it was at least five miles per gallon. Here, Here is what I got with the stock air intake. I got 24 miles a gallon. I'm telling you, I had it up to like 30 miles to the gallon. But I only drove a mile. Now, if I try to go on the highway and everything else, it might change a little bit. So I'm probably going to put like 100 to 200 miles on it before I tell you all my guy, my average and everything. But yeah, other than that, it's a really easy install. I mean, it could have added horsepower, but I mean, I just don't feel it. It's not like that much. That's like, you can just feel without like a tune or something, which I will not tune this car. Well, I might tune it. I don't know. I go back and forth about that. We'll see how she holds up in in in, in the pat in the next like year or so. We'll see.